What is the difference between a CV and a resume? Well, it depends where you live, and in some cases the terms are used interchangeably. People mix them up, and so this can be really confusing. The short answer, however, is that the difference is length, location, the purpose, and depth. I'm Jen Swanson, your career coach, and let's unpack this question a little bit. Resumes and CVs or curriculum vitae, which is Latin for life course or life curriculum, are both used in job searches. A resume is short. It's two pages or less. It's a document that outlines your most recent and relevant achievements. It gives some detail about your skills, your employment history, and your education. A resume is competency-based. So, in other words, it showcases what you can do. It's a concise and specifically tailored document that you make in response to a particular job posting. So you make them different for every single application. It's a little window into what you can do for that particular role that you are seeking. If a resume is a little window, then a CV is the entire house. <laughs> it is a much longer document, several pages sometimes, and it is most typically used if you are applying for a job in academia, but it can also be used if you are a lawyer or a physician or a professor or a researcher or a scientist or somebody in a high-level government position. Unlike a resume, a CV is not tailored specifically to the position you are applying for. You can have one CV and use it across multiple application processes. A CV is credential based and so it outlines what you are qualified to do, why, and so it includes details of your experience. And a CV often includes actual examples, so links to papers that you have written or the entire paper sometimes. It might have links to talks that you were part of. It might be projects you have taken part in or taken the lead on. It might have honors and awards that you have received, grants, fellowships, any of that kind of thing. So it is a much more complete documentation of all of the things that you have achieved or been part of in your career trajectory. Another thing that might dictate whether or not you use a CV or a resume is where you are located in the world. Now in North America, a CV is usually reserved, as I said before, for colleges and universities, academia, or professions. But because the terminology is not standardized, and because in some places some people say CV to sound a bit fancier when they actually mean resume, this can be exceedingly <laughs> confusing. In Australia and New Zealand, both resumes and CVs can be required at job application time, and so clarification would be in order if they want the shorter document, as in the resume, or a longer document, as in a CV. You'd have to ask. There you go. Clear as mud. To summarize, in most cases and in most places, the CV is the much longer and more detailed document and used for professional positions and academia, whereas the resume is the short and sweet and specific document and is the one that is most commonly required. If this was helpful, hit that like button, subscribe, share this with a friend, and next I'm going to link to a playlist on how to craft the perfect resume. I will see you over there.